Known by its folk name of sparrowgrass, people in San Joaquin County know how to cook up asparagus. Mm, that's a good one, huh? So you can put it in ice cream, you can deep fry it, you, it's a healthy dish, you can eat it raw. They've been celebrating the lovable vegetable for three decades. Danica Nassetti is the Asparagus Festival Coordinator. She says 65,000 people visit the event each year. In our local farmers, it's the biggest production around here and has been for a long time. But research out of the United Kingdom has found a link between a compound in asparagus and cancer spreading in mice. The study's author told a British news agency that lowering the amount of the amino acid asparagin in the animal's diet helped to reduce tumor growth. When you see studies like this, it almost feels a bit disingenuous. The report isn't easily digested by San Joaquin Farm Bureau Executive Director Bruce Blodgett. I'm taking it with a grain of salt. He says asparagin is found in nearly all the foods that people eat, including fish, soy, beef, potatoes, and beans. Blodgett says he worries the study may discourage people from eating known healthy foods. I think we need a little bit more information to start making, you know, before we start making snap judgments on what people should and should not be consuming. The study's author says the finding is a major breakthrough that could help develop a way to block asparagin in cancer patients. <laughs> but when it comes to eating asparagus, people in San Joaquin County say it's all good. I just don't rely on one study. Researchers have not tested this low asparagin diet on humans just yet, so that means future results and future tests could have a different outcome. In Sacramento, Drew Balea, KPIX 5.